Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the last session of today's United We Thrive Peace event. It's a day of strife for many, and I've brought together a, a really beautiful group of healers and teachers and musicians and artists. And, you know, I know people from all around the world and I've been so blessed with everybody who shared today and offered their, you know, love and their wisdom and their science and their time and their communities and everything that's been offered today has been such a blessing. And my intention is to really elevate the, the vibration on the whole planet. And if we can elevate the vibration of one cell of one human today, I've done my work. <laughs> And I know we've done more than that. So what I wanna say is that I moved a few months ago to a really beautiful town in Colorado and uh, the universe uh, brought me, I was led, I let my heart, my intuition guide me, uh, just gentle, step by step, you know, day by day, magical moment by magical moment. And I've, I've been blessed with the community locally and their musicians and their artists and their healers and their teachers. And, and so I've brought them together this evening and I've been um, not only blessed by support, by, but also been challenged by them to, for example, write a song and sing a song. And, and we're gonna do that this evening. So first off, I wanna introduce uh, a local artist. Uh, I live in a town where there's a lot of local artists uh, and, and, and musicians and beautiful creative souls who wanna make the world a better place. And um, I met somebody who's an artist who, you know, found art through a spiritual awakening, through a really tough, actually healing journey, like a dark night of the soul turned, you know, a uh, beautiful creative soul. And, and I want to introduce um, him and, and let him share his journey a little bit this evening. And then also um, his name's Dustin Tedwell. And then one of his um, uh, beautiful soulmate friends, uh, Brad. And, and Brad has been doing all this really amazing healing work, um, just trained at, on the West Coast for you know, weeks at a time to come back and help the world and you know, do really like body healing kind of work. And so I just wanna share what this energy work, this painting, this you know, um, really important work that is necessary right now for us to come together and promote peace on a day like this. So I'm going to introduce them and then we'll get started with some music. I'm going to try one more time to see if I can get the live stream going and then if not we'll just I'll, I'll just keep trying. <laughs> so Dustin um, are you uh, close by? I'm right behind you. Oh come on over. So Do I need to use this mic or anything? Oh, that's true. I'm talking way up here and there's a microphone I set up right up there. I mean, this all is this is yeah. what it's like to run, a, you know, a, a, a all day. Uh, that's there. <laughs> all right, you guys. Okay, she didn't hear any of that. It was awesome. I was there for it. Live. Yeah, it was live. Really good yeah, so we'll, we're going to actually wait. I'm going to let you guys talk first and then we'll see if I can get you guys to go live once the music starts. And if not, you know, there's a few lucky souls who get to hear us and and uh, we'll figure out. I'll get. I'll go. I'll make sure we get live on my phone or something. But this I'm is going actually, live now. I love you. Thank you. See, this is what it's like when you have a support team, a crew, a cosmic crew. Oh, I got a little <laughs> buzzing in my ear right now. That means it's true. The ring. Let you take over. The truth bombs came in. Mm -hmm. All right. So I don't know if we're so live or recording. Would love, but yeah, we are. We are totally. Um, we have a community of people watching this. So, uh, would you share in particular? Um, you know. What inspired you to create paintings to help the world? You know, because that's what really today is about. Is how are we helping the world, right? How are we helping the world become a better place? And if you just share, you know, because you shared so many cool stories and, and Brad's part of that. And if, if you just share some stuff about that, how, you know, what you're doing and helping the world and, and you're trying to rise, raise the vibration to it. Would that be helpful? To sure. Okay. Um, I don't know if I was really trying to help the world. I was trying to save my own skin. Um, I started going through a, what we call, I guess, a waking up process in 2012, and um, I was in the corporate world driving a big stupid car and wearing a three-piece suit, and something happened. A series of somethings 
happened. And um, I could no longer function in that matrix anymore. I couldn't function in that world of fear and greed because I was a financial advisor. I was a partner at a financial planning firm for a number of years. And um, one day, uh, my wife, Melinda, as I was fidgeting around Denver, she told me to paint. Oh, look there. Yeah. She told me to paint because Santa Claus, I guess. An easel showed up at Christmas Day at her house, and I had been riding bikes all over Denver. I had been running. I had been meditating at the lake. I just couldn't find myself. And Melinda said, why don't you go to this little brick house I built? Uh, in our backyard and paint. And that's where it all started. Um, when I moved into this little town, I had thousands of paintings, all just rolls of paper, you know, Ace Hardware, 300 foot rolls of paper, painted scrolls, and I had hung them all up on the wall um, to try to figure out the answer. How did I get here from there? Um, how did it all start? Because uh, 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 I was devastated. Everything that I had built was gone. Everything, everyone I knew had changed. And um, there was papers all over these two studios I had side by side. And this taxi cab driver came to the studio and he's like, why, 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 why? And I was in the mental state where I was crushed. I was suffering from severe PTSD and stuff. And um, I'm like, F you, man, don't ask me why. I don't know why. Um, and he goes, no, you're, you're painting why. All these abstract paintings say, say, say why. Change your words to different manifestations. You're a manifester. You're a creator of the fifth dimension. Um, so change your words, things like love, peace, forgiveness, healing. Um, so all of my paintings became mantras and prayers. And somebody taught me about chakra healing and colors and harmonic sounds with energy healing. So, I mean, for a good two years when I was in this town, they, they surely thought I was crazy. And they were right. Um, I would change the cover, coverings of my windows to red and then orange. And then, you know, I'd change it through the chakra colors wear orange pants and orange shirt you know i would dress in the colors just trying to figure out some way out of this pain and um through a lot of synchronicities and beautiful people and angels that came my way that are my brothers and sisters i finally figured out who i am and i i, I paint medicine um you can go check out my work at paintedmedicine.com um we are all energy, we are all intention. And the energy we put out there is what comes back to us. So when we think, fuck my life, and oh, excuse me. When we think all these negative thoughts, guess what, guess what, it's coming, it's coming. But when we have that belief system, and I knew, I knew because I saw it start to manifest. I'd walk in the studio at six in the morning, or in the morning sometimes, and be like, okay, today, sun is gonna rise, and I'm gonna meet some amazing, magical people. And sure as heck, of course the sun rise. I met some amazing, magical people. And so now I, I, I paint my intentions. I, I, I think that we are built as creators, whether we're poets or musicians or painters or, or, or just the guy on the street giving a buck out to the guy on the corner. We are creators. So um, uh, even when I'm in a bad place, I've learned that if I pay something forward, the universe loves that. It'll pay it back. If I pay negative, pay negative energy or paint negative energy, the universe is listening. You know, we, we get we we reap what we sow, if you will. So um, that's kind of my story. That's um, you know, my whole goal is to help my brothers and sisters find a little bit of um, peace in their environment, peace in their mind, as as well as me. I'm an empath, so. I, I absorb their energy and I want to be around people who are on their path to healing and feeling better and loving their neighbors because when I'm around hateful people, it hurts me. So that's why I'm here today. I love you for doing this. Thank you. Question. So you found a, a way to create a different reality. Is that true? 
No, okay. Okay. So it's art. Yeah. I think art is the medium to that reality, but it's creation. Creation. Imagination. So that's what I was gonna say. What would you what was like a piece of advice you would give people? Because you're you that's what I gather from you. It's like you have cre you have found your way. What would you say for somebody who maybe not be a painter or something? Uh, well, first of all, I have not found my way. I'm seeking. I'm I'm searching. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. He's found his way of expression. <laughs> he doesn't maybe. we well, none of us have found our way yet, right? Maybe that's why we're here today. But like, you have found a way of expressing yourself that's healing. Mm -hmm. So maybe not everybody can express themselves in, in painting or singing or even what we're doing right on video or something. Like, what is the like? What would you say? Like, if it's if it's not painting, like, what do you do? How do you figure it out? The age-old question. What is yeah, your right? answer? Um, I don't have an answer, but I do think I have a uh, an idea. Meditate. Believe. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in the crew. Believe in your crew. Believe in a higher power. For me, I mean, there is something bigger out there. There's something bigger out there. And look. <laughs> Bunch of us gather around here. It's bigger than one. Um, cool. Have, have faith in the divine. I love this. I love this. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. This is my friend Brad. And and so yeah. So this is um, his friend Brad. And Brad actually has a healing story. Yes. Oh, I, I, I and, do have a healing story. <laughs> and um, and I know this. I just popped this on him. Like, would you be open to share? And he said yes. And and so I'm grateful for you to be so open and willing and, and, and honest. And and so will you just share a little bit about your healing journey? And every every time you shared it with me, um, it's been um, inspirational. So that's why I'd love for other people to, to hear. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I came to this town and met these people yeah, sure. uh, okay. a long time ago. Just here, right here. And um, I... Look at the green line. I, I've gone through a long journey with a lot of different things that have happened. I'm a I'm an EMT, a remote medic, a firefighter, and a, a disaster responder. And um, I've spent the last 15 years of my life pretty much um, healing people's physical bodies on and being there on the worst days of their lives and on the best days of their lives. And a couple years ago, my own life fell apart, and I ended up with uh, late onset epilepsy and ended up in the ICU a few times. Um, and I needed my own healing. I had to take a step away from from helping people in the way that I've always done, and I had to take a moment for myself. And I I came back here to my friends and my family and. I, I started to realize that healing isn't just physical. There, there's a, a spiritual and an emotional um, half to life that I, I, I'm not, I wasn't necessarily completely aware of until it happened to me. And I found that healing through this these groups of people who accepted me for who I was and allowed me in and allowed me to be creative and allowed me to just be myself and cry at times. And I realized that I was able to help people heal, not just in a physical way, but in a spiritual, emotional way. And that was the turning point for me after everything that I've been through is is that exactly is realizing that i can heal people and with a group of people um that's not just physical and that it, it takes a tribe mm -hmm. to do that you know uh, mm. that's mm. Mm. Right. takes a tribe <laughs> oh my goodness i love this i love this can you uh, just stay with me just for a moment. Yes, ma'am. I, I really appreciate your sharing. I know this was a pop 20 last minute, so thank you. Thank for you. sure. Totally. So, um, that's why we're here today. 
it takes a tribe. We can't do this alone. If I can make peace happen in the world all by myself, I would have already done it. <laughs> so it takes us all coming together, you know, to create peace in the world, to create healing on the individual, to create a new kind of community, right? Whatever we want to see, it takes, we can't do it alone. And that's kind of, that's been one of my biggest lessons in life. And I still every day I have to remind myself, sure, I cannot save the world by myself. I need a superhero team like you guys. <laughs> so I love that lesson. That's such a beautiful lesson for you. Totally. I mean, I, I, it takes a tribe to heal other people and to put this movement and set it forward. Um, but it is also taking this tribe to heal myself as well. And I'll never take that for granted. And it will always be a part of me. And my ability to give back after that, what, what was given to me, it has been essential to my own healing. So that was going to be my next question. I'm like, how is all this healing and how's all this community and all these people who've helped you and all this stuff helped you help others? Well, I've, I've never had a community. I, I've um, worked all over the country. Like I said, I, I've moved maybe 11 times in the past five years. Um, never in my life have I had a community until I moved here. And I always felt like I was on my own you know, fighting this battle against the darkness in the world. Uh, I've seen terrible things in my profession and I've had terrible things happen to me. And when I came here and, and everybody surrounded me with love um, and propped me up as much as I've propped other people up in, in my life, that, that's, that's what started my healing. Mm. So you can help more people because you feel better. Exactly. It, it, it's given me perspective in life um, that, like I said, it's not just physical healing. Like there's there's deep emotional healing that ties to the body, the physical body, in very specific ways. And they're go for it. They're, I'm like they're the same. Yeah, they're, they're the same. The, the physical like, body and the emotional right. and the spiritual body. They they are all, all one. And you have to attend to each of those things in order to, to find full healing. Yes, ma'am. So we're all going to sing together. We're all going to sing together. You know, Speed is going to join in, the, the Chihuahua, of course. I've been trying to go live. Um, it's not quite working yet, but um, I'm going to go on my phone. So what I'd like to do now is uh, Brian's going to come out. He's my music teacher. He's my friend. He's my... Um, you know, we've written a song together and he's brought his beautiful band in. So they're going to take, um, hello, hey, welcome. So they're going to take um, their uh, spaces and then Dustin's gonna, um, going to bring forward some beautiful painting and they're going to sing some songs. And then us ladies, whoever wants to come in, I'm not by myself unless the ladies come in. I think they're going to come in, y'all. But um, they're, they're going to come in and then we're going to sing the song together. And I will put in the lyrics in uh, the chat box, and it's also in the Facebook group. Okay, so um, Brian, will you come forward and you know take over for the next little bit of time and share and, and whatnot? Okay. And you can set that there when it, it'll probably you know be good volume wise. Hello, my name is Brian Real. I'm a member of the original Salida Social Club, 2004. And uh, what we do is make people's fondest dreams come true. And my fondest dream has always been to move to Salida and start a band, and save the whole world. <laughs> so now with our new band, String Jesus, <laughs> we plan on doing just that. And um, I've seen Dustin Tidwell work miracles. I've seen all these guys work miracles. So we are ready, and we are prepared, and we are not gonna give up until the brightest star in the sky explodes and it writes all our names in a cloud of smoke. Mm. And with that, I would like to say, I'd like to introduce my band. Uh, on the bass guitar, we got Mississippi Scott, AKA String Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> where are you from? Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there you go. That's all you need to know. 
uh, and he looks a little bit like Jesus, hence the name String Jesus. Yes. Woo! And then on the drums, we've got Tyler. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Tyler is a survivor and a drummer, and he's intuitive, masculine uh, type that is really more sensitive than anything. Super. And he's got eyes so blue you could dock a ship in them. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite uh, flavor of cake, Tyler? German chocolate. I figured that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that tells you all you need to know about Tyler. Yeah. And then uh, on the bark, we have uh, Speedy Gonzalez. On the bark. Oh, on the, the bark. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> now the first number we're doing is called Run. And it's by a band named Collective Soul. And we're going to do it our way. Uh, it goes like this. I got a long way to 
right, this next one's called Running With Our Eyes Closed. And it's by uh, okay. a guy named Jason Isbell. Stream Jesus. Don't mess with us. <laughs> this next uh, song is called Into Your Arms. Into Your Arms, I Will Go. Thank you. 
All right, this one's this one's a very special. And it goes out to everybody in the globe. Mm. And it's called mm. Throw Your Hatred Down. It goes like this by Neil Young. Speaking of which, this was by Mother Love Bone. It's called Stargazer. It's by Andy Wood and uh, Crew from Pearl Jam. So it goes like this.
lifts me higher than anyone, and I love her so, yeah, woman, woman, she's out of
Ready, girl? You guys ready for this brand new song called We Are the World? Or no, we're not. We drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's right here. We should stand up for this. Okay, we're gonna stand. Oh, I love it. So, so, so thank you for being here, still. And so I want to show everybody who's here. Um, this is the the live on Facebook, and this is a recording. And and I'm so grateful for you to be here. I know some of you guys are on the East Coast. You're here later, and and I'm um, so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Um, so maybe if we can just make sure. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, let's, let's just, you know, I'll give you a, uh, uh, even if you don't want to like maybe necessarily say, yeah, don't take it away from me. Uh, just to feel the vibration and the energy of it. Right now. So, uh, Brian, do you want to explain it? Or yeah. You like, okay. You guys get more over here. Me? <laughs> All right, this song is uh, called We Are the World, and we have a lot of celebrities that we're singing with. Okay, it's called uh, United We Thrive. <laughs> we have a lot of celebrities that we're singing with. We got Mississippi Scott Jesus. Woo! And we got Leela Veronica. Yes, girl! And, Tyler and the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Tidwell. <laughs> yes! Zig Stardust is our producer. Yes, yes, that would be me. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually my nickname. So Melinda, the, uh, what? The Who said that? Versus the my nickname on Discord is Stardust. <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. I love this. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing so much. It's so good to have you. Okay, so watch me. So this is a song about the divine masculine and the divine feminine working together to find peace on earth by uniting the entire world. Yeah. Same world, so same color. Okay. 
What's up? Me and Leela. Oh, yeah? I'm James Hunt. I'm James Hunt. All right. A one, two, three. Just so you can fall. Lost yourself in the home of the blind with roots and ground. Don't leave us behind. You have to imagine. Thank you, okay, thank you. Um, you know, it's been a many, not too many, but a few hours of practice and just, you know, playing my edge to sing a song for you. And um, sorry if I, got, if I was off key and, 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 and I hope I inspired you and I hope the whole crew, the whole Salida, uh, you know, uh, this valley, these souls, these humans, these, everybody that's come together today I hope everybody's inspired you, or one person, or one moment, to feel good. You deserve it. So thank you. Uh, we're going to show Justin's art and do a, just a, a just a, a short closing uh, ceremony, 
and, and we'll send you off to hopefully a beautiful night's rest. Justin, do you share what you just Sure. Tried? Well, it's sacred geometry. There's some red and some blue there and trying to pull in some light. And that's pretty much what it's all about. This whole world is kind of red and blue with some darkness on the outside and some white light in the middle where we truly create. So it's kind of the point of this one. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you guys so much. So we're going to get if you all who are live here and then if you have anybody with you at home. Um, but if you if you don't even um, and if you do, you know, join us in the heart circle. You know, we're going to share hands if you guys want hearts, if you don't want to touch hands. But we're going to just do a little closing ceremony circle here on the deck. If it's OK with you guys. And then we can we can stand for music in a fun level. We're going to go off of here. But I want to close um this this evening with the whole uh community virtually in the world as well um with a couple words so let's would it be okay if we do a circle with the hands Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So we're just gonna um briefly, you know, do it. It'll just take like thirty seconds. So just, you, but you have to link because otherwise we'll break the circle. Right. So we have to link at some point. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Texaslink.com. Oh, All right. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna um we'll do this, but whatever. It's like so uh, if everybody would, uh, you can keep your eyes open if you want. But if you want to, go ahead and close your eyes. Relax your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your knees. Relax your belly button away from your spine. Relax your heart. Feel your heartbeat if you can. Bring your breath to your heart now. Inhale, exhale. Mm. Feel what it's like to be a human. Feel what it's like to be a little more peaceful in your own existence at this moment. Ask yourself, heart, heart. <laughs> What brings me peace? And listen, you know, your heart knows. Today we brought you, <laughs> that's not my chihuahua. I swear there's a chihuahua down the street barking. It's funny. <laughs> there, there's a blonde chihuahua. Be into the yard, of course. Just the way it Breathe in, breathe out. Feel into your day. What brought you some peace? Maybe some strife. What brought you peace today? And remember that on all moments. Because in any moment you can bring that forward, any micro moment, you can bring forward energy of peace if you so choose. It's a choice. Today we brought forward options of lowering your stress, of, of sound healing, of singing, of, of nonviolent communication, of music, of fun, play, whatever it is that you need this year, next year, and the year's coming. Choose it for yourself. We need you to choose you so that the whole world can rise. So thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who's joined today online and, and for everybody in this moment here on my <laughs> deck. I'm blessed, grateful, like I can't even tell you. Thank you for you know, bringing your presence, your existence, your gifts, and, and just being so generous today, thank you. And to uh, <laughs> peace forward and grounding into the earth if you feel like it. From your belly, from your breath down into your toes, down into the ears, down deeper to the crust of the earth, the mantle, the core. Just feel your connection to it, your support. It's always there. It's always there. It's always there. Thank you for coming together. United, we thrive. And if you want to join in with me and say it together, so open your eyes and smile and say, United, we thrive. <laughs> United, we thrive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yay! Awesome. Now, hope you enjoy. Love you all. Bye. I try to hold this.